Hi everybody, welcome to the Spectator in the Zone post-game show. Ellie Schultz here with Miles Simmons coming to you from Shulkop Field in Ithaca. Um, Lions just suffered their ninth straight loss of the season, uh, falling to Cornell 24-9. Uh, you know, it was a, a hard-fought game much of the way, but the Lions came, sort of came apart down the stretch and Cornell came away with the win. Yeah, I mean, it's the sort of same things we've been talking about the whole season. Inconsistency on offense, inconsistency on defense, and when you have those things, you're just not going to win, and that's what happened to the Lions again today. Right, and Columbia was unable to capitalize on the absence of Cornell's star quarterback, Jeff Matthews, um, who's out with a concussion. Mm -hmm. uh, so Cornell's offense, usually very pass-heavy, had to rely on the run a lot more today. 51 rushing attempts um, for the Big Red on, on the afternoon. Uh, and Columbia was really never able to do enough to stop them. Yeah, you're right. I mean, they would get them into third and long situations and then give it up. Right. You know, Cornell was 6 of 15 on third down conversions today, which, I mean, doesn't necessarily sound like the best, but when you consider how many of those were maybe third and seven or longer, and they were able to convert a whole lot of those, that's really what killed the Lions defensively. Right, and the Lions defense, um, also much like the rest of the team, has been very banged up all mm -hmm. season. Uh, a lot of starters missing from the front seven on, on that side yeah. of the ball. Uh, but some of the young guys did do a great job um, stepping up today. Uh, Mark Seaslike especially stands up. He had a fantastic afternoon mm -hmm. for Columbia, uh, picking up 12 tackles, two and a half tackles for a loss mm -hmm. and a sack. So great job out of him. But uh, again, not quite enough from the Lions defensively to come away with the W this afternoon. Yeah, and also on offense, I mean, you know, we've talked about not doing enough. I mean, they had three red zone chances, and all three were field goals. And so when you do that, you know, you're turning maybe 21 points into only nine. And so that kind of inconsistency, you know, you get down the field, you get down the field, and McDonough said this after the game, you know, when you get down in the red zone, you can't do that, you can't convert, that's where you're going to be, you know, falling into situations where you're down 24 to nine instead of maybe 24 to 21. Again, yeah, the same kind of things, like you said, all season, you know, drop passes on yep. third downs, drop passes in the end zone, we saw a couple of those, yep. um, just sort of holding the Lions back from uh, from establishing a kind of any sort of rhythm yeah, offensively and true. Um, you know starting to maybe get get some get something going in the win column here. So they only have one more chance to do that this year. They'll be taking on Brown at home next weekend. They'll be the last game in Columbia uniform for the Lions seniors. Um, we'll be doing a show. Hopefully you'll all uh, come out and watch um, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.